Immigrants claiming bribery at the border. Thousands blackmailed as they flock to the border. Channel 5's Angela Vargas tells us the violence and corruption that they thought they left behind raises its head again here at the border. Now they are willing to pay the price with their feet and pocketbook, even if they know something's not right. A crowd of immigrants wait to go north inside the McAllen bus station. The last time this Honduran woman was on a bus was in Mexico. From Monterrey, we got on a bus. There we were asked to get off the bus by immigration or police, and that's where they're taking the money away. She claims they took money from her. From the money we bring for food, they took 600 Mexican pesos away from me, 100 for the child and 500 for me. The length of the trip was two days, and we had to stay hungry. Yamilet Ramirez traveled from Guatemala with her son. Because if we don't pay them, they'll deport us back to our country. They are each from a different country. They say the Mexican authorities threaten them. Some people from Cuba were charged 12,000 pesos. Ramirez explains people from other than Central American countries had a more expensive bus ride. This is a regular trend for the journey, and bribery happens in other ways, too. We found out what is taking place when immigrants cross in our special report, La Trampa. We spoke to the director of the Citizens Council of the National Migration Institute, Marine Meyer. We have heard other cases in Oaxaca and southern Mexico where immigration agents used to um, try to charge about $2,000 for immigrants to release them or to give them a humanitarian visa. Meyer posed recommendations to the Mexican government to improve working conditions for Mexican immigration officers in hopes that would help solve the bribery issue. They put fear in you, so because you want to travel, you pay them the money. So the immigration officers representing the Mexican government don't have to search through buses for fast cash. Some of the immigrants contrasted what they found with the immigration officers in Mexico with those they encountered here in the U.S., saying here they were treated well. In the Channel 5 News studio, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 6.